Hello everyone, it's Freename from YouTube here with a quick video on how to factory reset this Sky broadband router which is model number SR203 in my example it's misconfigured we've forgotten the login details so we've forgotten the IP address and um, username and password or Wi-Fi details to connect in. Uh, over here on the left side we've got its custom IP address of 10.54.54.1. On the right hand side we want it to be on 192.168.0.1. So when we factory reset it, instead of a reply over here, we should see a reply over here. I don't have this plugged into a broadband line, so uh, you'll just have to imagine that the internet light is on. Um, because I don't have Sky Broadband at the moment. On the back of the router, unusually, you do not need a pin to factory reset it. It's just a button that you can press with your finger. What I'm going to do is show you the front of the router while I press the reset button on the back of the router. I will let you know when I've started pressing it and I will let you know when I've let go and uh, stopped pressing it. When I start pressing it, you will see that the Wi-Fi light will go out and the uh, ping over on the computer will stop as well. However, at that point you cannot let go of the reset button, you do need to keep it held down. So I'm going to start pressing it just about now. Power light has gone red. I'm going to keep that button held down. The Wi-Fi light's gone off and it stopped pinging on the network. The power light has now started flashing green and then has gone solid red again. I'm now going to let go of the button on the back of the router. The power light's gone green again, and we now wait for it to start up. But it stopped responding on the network over here, the Wi-Fi's gone off, and it isn't responding on its default IP address either. If this video has already been helpful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel, you don't need to have the video notifications on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Probably not far off. Yeah, there we go. It's uh, come up with the hotspot logon because I'm not connected to the internet. But very briefly, we did get a reply from the default IP address. Uh, I guess give it a few more seconds, it will come back because the uh, Wi Fi light has not yet gone on either. Wi Fi light is now on, and we are now back on the default IP address of 192.168.0.1 and the custom setting that I had over on this screen has been lost. So we are back to factory settings. For those that then want to log on to the router, you can go to this address in the web browser, so 192.168.0.1. The username is admin, and then the password is usually Sky on older routers, or uh, I guess older firmware possibly, or it is the same as the Wi-Fi password. Hopefully that video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the notifications on, but the subscriber numbers really do help, so thank you very much.